Hi everybody, welcome to the News OK Planet 46 Comics Podcast. I'm Matt Price, I'm here with Kyle Roberts. Kyle, what's going on? Some pretty fun stuff. We've got some G.I. Joe 2 movie news. Superhero toy comedy is coming to online. And Captain America is the bomb. Pop. All right, very cool. So, first things first, we have, can you believe it, another giveaway another for giveaway. our many viewers. Um, we have a giveaway of Robot Chicken Star Wars 3. This is the brand new DVD mm -hmm. from the Robot Chicken guys, another Star Wars parody. Their stuff is funny. You've seen the first two. Yeah. This is the third pretty, one. pretty awesome. It's pretty funny stuff. They take kind of, uh, it follows Emperor Palpatine and like, some other characters from the Star Wars universe and does like alternate takes on what they might have been doing during the movie. So it's funny stuff. And we have this to give away for you. All you got to do is answer our question of the day. Which is, who is your favorite Star Wars character? That's right. It's There's Maybe millions. It's Boba Fett. Prune Face. Could be Prune Face. Could be Darth Vader. <laughs> Luke Skywalker. Maybe it's Yoda. Snow White. Maybe yeah. it's the Stormtrooper. Yoda. Yeah, if your if your favorite Star Wars character is a stormtrooper, I don't know what to say. Maybe it's a very him. specific stormtrooper. Maybe you knew the guy in one of the stormtrooper yeah. costumes. Gary the stormtrooper. <laughs> All, All right, right. Okay, that's it. Um, so leave us a comment, answer our question <laughs> of the day, and you will be uh, entered and have a chance to win that DVD. Cool. All right. So something else cool that happened. It was the Fourth of July, celebrating America's birthday. Happy birthday, America! And Kyle made another awesome stop motion uh, featuring. Uh, the symbol of America, of course, for us that read comics all the time, Captain America. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people have been asking me how I made it. And really, this was just a little bit of fun on the 4th. <laughs> and uh, ended up being pretty cool. It was featured by tons of blogs mm -hmm. and on YouTube's official blog uh, yesterday. Yeah. And so uh, basically what I did is took 20 hours of freezing. <laughs> we just took Kool-Aid packets and made the colors, froze it on this cup, you know, with that mm -hmm. uh, Captain America figure in it. And then it took three hours to melt. Really? So that was pretty crazy. I thought it would melt. It was, it was, it was, almost it was like 100. 100 degrees. And right? I was in Missouri, but it was still it was 90 degrees there. Mm -hmm. And so I thought it would melt pretty fast, but it took about three hours, the giant ice ice block. Yeah. And it took about seven hours to do the rest of it. And I, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, how did I do the shield? And that mm -hmm. looks too perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, I cheated a little bit. I put it on a green screen, and then mm -hmm. I was away from my house. So I literally just got this little... Uh, poster board of green and mm -hmm. uh, just filmed several frames of it spinning in a circle and made that come to the camera. So Very cool. <laughs> and it's already got uh, you know tens of thousands of page views yeah. and people are enjoying it. So cool. uh, check that out as well. Um, hey, so there's a new uh, online show that's coming out from a couple of our favorites, uh, Tara Platt, Yuri Lowenthal. Mm -hmm. They're of course well known for their voice acting yeah. work. And they're going to do a live action series where they're going to play action figures. Yeah. Uh, they come to life. So, so it sounds kind of confusing. They're, they're, they're playing toys, but mm -hmm. they're regular. Just it's live going to be a live action thing where they're going to be dressed up as action figures and then they'll come to life and act that stuff out. So Sounds pretty cool. Um, it's going to be called Shelf Life. There's going to be a debut of some stuff at Comic-Con and then it will be available on uh, online. And Paul Jenkins, you remember mm -hmm. from writing Wolverine Origin, uh, wrote and directed it. Cool. And then some G.I. Joe 2 news. That's Palicki? right. Yeah, Adrian Palicki, who mm -hmm. we talked about because she was going to play Wonder Woman and then right. nobody picked up the show. Uh, instead, she's going to be in G.I. Joe 2, uh, The Rise of Cobra. Is that right? No, Cobra Strikes, the first mm -hmm. one was Rise yeah. of Cobra. She'll be in G.I. Joe 2, Cobra Strikes, and she'll play Lady J. Cool. Let's get in the re review file. All right. Fear itself. <laughs> Do we want to go ahead and spoil book four? Well, I, let's. I think everyone knows, right? I don't know if everybody knows. They, know, they know it's coming up. First, well, I guess we can say the minor spoiler <laughs> first, which is uh, Thor, who's been living in Oklahoma, we kind of <laughs> kick him out. Yeah. People are like, get out of here, Thor. We're, our stuff keeps getting bombed, and we're sick of it. Get out. The Oklahomans pretty much just kick Thor out. Yeah. I'd like to apologize, <laughs> Thor, and if you'd like to come back, <laughs> we'll have out. you on the show anytime. Yeah, you can hang out at my house. Um, but yeah, so, okay, spoiler warning for everybody. You want to spoiler warning and then... Yeah. Okay, okay spoiler alert. Basically, what happens in this issue is Steve Rogers returns as Captain America. Steve Rogers is back. So he's been, you know, kind of in this Nick Fury role, but now he's back as Cap. He's mm -hmm. going in. This is kind of the issue where, I mean, things got pretty bad last issue. This is the issue where the Avengers kind of assemble, assemble, as it were, uh, and start trying to get it together. So Fear Itself, book four, uh, out this week. Cool. And then Flashpoint, number three. Kind of the counterpoint, the other big release from the other company, DC Comics, in this alternate world. 
Uh, Barry Allen didn't have his powers. He's trying to convince this universe is Batman about what's going on, how the universe has changed. Mm -hmm. They get Cyborg to work with him, and of course, what they're looking for in this issue is uh, Superman. Is the uh, original Clark Kent in this universe somehow? Can they get him and have him on their side to kind of try and undo what has gone wrong? You kind of couple twists as far as what's happened. Another good issue by Jeff Johns and Andy Kubert. Cool. And then we'll wrap it up with the first issue of Elric from Boom Studios. This is by Chris Robertson, who's been doing some Superman stuff for DC, also some other Boom comics. Uh, he's a really good writer, and this is kind of a take on the Michael Moorcock mm -hmm. novels. Um, it's got something that I'm not sure, I think it's a new concept perhaps of this guy who is a game developer who kind of keeps dreaming that he's in these other worlds, and I think that's all probably going to come together as some type of relation to the Elric story. So. Sweet. Uh, pretty cool pick? issues. I'll say Return of Cap and Fear Yourself. All right. What? Yep. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to go with the same thing. Oh, yeah, hey. No. Double, double header pick. We don't often do this. <laughs> We're both going to pick the Return of Captain America, which I hope you didn't, if you went away for the spoiler warning, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> in Fear Itself, cool. number four. And be sure to comment for a chance to win this. We'll That's right. Leave your Star comment, Wars. favorite Star Wars character, three. and you could possibly win. So come back next week for more comic book and movie news. For Kyle Roberts, I'm Matt Price. Thanks for watching.